download the freshest show in the whole world, download Toy Break and laugh your ass off because I love it. Peace. Hey, welcome to Toy Break. Episode 6. So how's it going? 666. Six, six. Yeah, me too. I wish we were in episode 666. Six, six. It's already hot in here. <laughs> so what do we got to talk about it's today? It's because of Matt's awesome tank top that it's so it's hot. hot. It is hot. It's summertime in California. It's always summertime in California. <laughs> Doesn't change. California snowing is like 60. It doesn't I get snow. cold at like 80. I get cold at 70. It's never hey, cold. Hey, how anyway. toy talk? It's never cold. Okay, toys. Okay, first order of business. We are continuing... The um, Four Horsemen contest that we had going from last toy break. Due to popular demand. Due to popular demand. Um, so please go to the uh, toybreak.com and go to forums. And all you have to do is leave a comment under the Horsemen section of the contests section. And you can win. Fantastic that exclusive. guy. <laughs> Fantastic From exclusive. From Magnacore. No, the Magnacore. No, Magnacore no. Magna Magna Yeah, that guy's cool too. When you take him out, he's actually vinyl. Here, I'll grab him. He's right here. George Free toys. Going to the back of the studio. He'll be back in about Toy. half an hour. <laughs> there he is. That guy's cool. He's got a pewter, pewter sword. Pewter sword. Podcast resin gun. It's awesome. Clear tubes. Plus, who doesn't want free toys? Come on. Yeah. Plus, you get them free. All free you gotta do is sign your name you. up. Does um, it have a signed box? It, it does. does. <laughs> wow. All this and puppets too. I didn't know there should be puppets. I said puppets too. Oh, I like puppets too. All right, I'm back from the vault. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, unfortunately, we have a little bit of sad news to start the news Did off George with. Die? I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm still the sad here. news is this there. tank top. Hey, um, this is a nice tank top. It was in the women's section. <laughs> That's how you know it's going to fit, right? <laughs> yeah, if I bought a tank top in the women's section. It wouldn't be fit. It'd be hot. I might have a new hat. <laughs> I have these large breasts to contend with. So what's the sad news as you're laughing Wait, your ass what was this news? The sad news is Playtime's... Ah! Uh, oh, wait. I'll hold it. Hold it. Playtime's magazine has officially come to an end. They will not be making any more Playtime's. Ah! Uh, issue... 21 was the last issue. Sadly, that was the one featuring the new format and the new paper. And right when they switched over to being really good, <laughs> the they stuff. decided to cancel it. How come? We don't Just know why. Just like Gilligan's um, Island. Well, Jackie Teo from Play Imaginative, who makes Playtimes, uh, posted on the Kid Robot forums. Basically, the shipping fees are the biggest reason to stop that. They are in Singapore, and since the publication is in English, that meant most of their reader they had Western readers, so they had to have enormous shipping costs to get all these magazines over here. And it was pretty much killing it. So, it's those um, damned oil companies. Uh, are they still making Trexies? You need to come up with electric cargo <laughs> vehicles. <laughs> they are still making Trexies, and they are focusing on their new apparel brand, Duperdu, and other vinyl plush figurine projects, and quote unquote, we might plan to publish a design and toy related book one day. So hopefully we will get some play imaginative back in there with a book or something, and uh, until then, support Clutter, support Super 7, support any of your local toy magazines, support Toy Break. <laughs> Keep the toy news coming. It's hard. But above all, support High Fructose, support Super break. 7, Clutter. It's all. Lee's Toy, toy Break. Lee's Toy Break. <laughs> Let's have a moment of silence for playtimes. Let's not. People don't like silence. Okay, next bit of news. <laughs> On the good news, um, in publishing, there is a new book available, uh, Toy Yay! T called Toy Giants. Yay! By Daniel and Gio, I'm gonna say, Fuchs. <laughs> that sure looks like Fox, Fox to me. That looks exactly like Fox. That looks like Fox. F-U-C-H-S. It is a project that took over three years. Um, it's basically an oversized toy photo book. It's 10 inches by 12 and a half inches, hardback. 216 pages, including five fold-out pages, and it's photographs of, I'm going to mess this name up too, Selim Varl's collection of over 10,000 toys. That's a lot of toys. And there's some great pictures, which you're probably seeing right now, and uh, there's several different versions available. You can get the regular book for $65, 
uh, for $399. You can get a signed, numbered, and stamped box edition, including one of ten prints by the artists. Or for thirty-three, a mere $3,300, <laughs> you can get the book and all ten prints. So uh, enjoy that, and you can order at ToyGiants.com. And hopefully by maybe the next episode, we'll have a review. Yes. Because we just ordered the regular book. <laughs> <laughs> Just the book, Just nothing the book. special. You didn't um, spring for the thirty-three hundred. No, I didn't quite have no. the thirty-three hundred to get that going. You're not a real toy. We spent it on caviar. Yeah, what a waste of money. And you that excellent had a book. vodka you're drinking. I'm not drinking. Shh. What? Stop <laughs> no it. Vodka. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, hopefully we'll have a review of that book coming toy up right in the next now one. with vodka. <laughs> for us. What else we got? They can have vodka too. No, you get your own. <laughs> it looks like we got some Star Wars Mimobot news. Woohoo! No, really, that was an excited woohoo. Uh, Mimico's uh, Star Wars Mimobots are now shipping. And uh, that's Series 1, includes R2, Chewbacca, Darth Vader, and Stormtrooper. And uh, shipping hey. now, go get them. At Mimico.com. And uh, there's also a second design contest going on right now for the vinyl Vimobots, so you can check that out too. At Mimico. Dot com. <laughs> um, what else you got? Um, new series of Dunnies. Ooh. Came out on uh, April 5th, I believe. They're called the Tattoo Dunnies. This is what, the 8,900th set of but Dunnies? But a whole fresh new perspective on it. Um, obviously done by Kid Robot. They are unfortunately sold out on Kid Robot, but I'm sure you can check places not to support eBay in the buying and selling of toys, but probably eBay. Get them from your favorite online retailer. Or local retailer. Or local retailer. Um, this particular set was curated by Toy Baroness herself, Nicole, over at Kid Robot. And it features 12 designs by top tattoo artists, not people Wowzers. already in the toys. Uh, including CIV, Eric Newman, Grez, Eric Merrill, Kevin Starey, Nick Baxter, Shane O'Neill, Dave Fox. <laughs> Joe Capobianco. <laughs> Thank you. VJ Betts, Hannah Etchinson, and Matt Rinks. And you can check out the pictures that we have up now or kidrobot.com. One of the nice things about this being done by tattoo artists who aren't normal, um, I guess, vinyl scene artists, is that they do kind of look a little different than what's normally been put out on the Dunnies. The, you know, rather than the same old, same old on the Dunnies, it's like kind of like a new, fresh design by uh, people who aren't really all that well known out there in the vinyl world. So I it's actually kind of cool. I like the yeah, other neat. Neat one's cool. Hilarious. Also on the Kid Robot front, coming out in May, uh, Kid Robot and Red Magic has produced a new series of CI Boys. Probably the 10 million CI Boys, but awesome, still, nonetheless. Um, like I said, coming out May 10th, also curated by the Toy Baroness Nicole She's over been at busy. Kid Robot. Uh, this one is, features the seven cardinal sins with designs from JK5, Thomas Hahn, Alex Party, MCA, Tweakum, and Kid Robot. And you That's can, a good lineup right there. You can check those out on the Kid Robot forums and on KidRobot.com. Anything pink is good. <laughs> awesome. Uh, one more Kid Robot thing before we get out of Kid Robot. <laughs> this is Kid Robot number 13, done by Scat1. It's coming out May 17th. Obviously it is the pirate with a treasure chest, map, hook, removable beard, eye patch, and hat. I have it's a removable beer too. <laughs> <laughs> Limited to a thousand pieces, and it's thirty nine ninety five. Kidrobot.com. That's awesome. I hope it comes to the treasure map. Oh, um, it does. Remember when I said map? I love it. <laughs> I like the beard. Removable. Movable beard. and removable. Yes. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to move it. <laughs> Just remove it. I'm you're gonna allowed come... to move it and remove it. Another good design by Sket. I'm gonna come clean and say I don't actually own any kid robots, but I think I'm gonna buy that one. Excellent. You're awesome. just a kid robot poser. I am. <laughs> you got a problem with that? You want to fight? I don't fight women. Yes, you do. Very often. <laughs> so on, in fight. next news... Quit touching me. That's my sculpting <laughs> arm. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, we have the Thunder Mutts punch you coming up by uh, Thunderdog Studios. <laughs> um, there's the Thunder Mutt 3.0 which is a um, Filth and Tristan design that's limited to 300 pieces. Then there's the Thundermutt Club Exclusive, which is 50 pieces. That's a set. 
a set, a whole set of mm-hmm. 50 pieces each, I would imagine. Yes. And then there's Thundermutt 5.0 by Mike Burnett, which is 300 pieces. And that's the one I'm kind of excited about. I really like the uh, designs, especially like the little Mexican wrestler. question mark. That's, that's going to be cool. That's just a mystery. What? That's not what it looks uh, like. I don't yeah. want it then. Okay. But, uh, yeah, that looks like a good set right there. I'm excited for that. Where Probably can you find those? I don't know. Thundermutts, uh, Thunderdogstudios.com. Somewhere on Earth. But uh, good luck getting them, because they're usually pretty hard to get. Yeah. So. But congrats to everybody in the Thundermutt Club version 2. They look cool. Awesome. Um, you may have seen some pictures of this next one from New York Comic Con recently. It's The Money Grip by Kano. It's five inches tall. It is the original version is available for forty five dollars. The blank DIY available for thirty dollars. Only available for pre order right now at kanokid.com. But there is also a available for pre order. Uh, My Plastic Heart exclusive red money grip, and uh, for fifty nine ninety nine, limited to seventy five pieces. And at Toy Cube they have a black colorway for fifty nine ninety nine. Uh, I'm assuming that one is also limited to 75 pieces, and those both ship at the end of May, so go. It's all over the place. And uh, customize them, enjoy them. Those are cool. I like them. Do what you will with them. It's a good good design. Uh, Mickey Mouse Runaway uh, Brain. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> this one, I'm I'm not too sure about here. You kidding me? That's awesome. I love the design it was based on. I uh, haven't seen it in person. So I'm not really able to review it correctly yet here, but uh, but it's available. It looks awesome. It uh, it's it by sure Sp- does. It's by Span of Sunset and Disney. It was sculpted by Monster Five. Okay. Seven and a half inches tall. Ten, count them. Ten, ten, ten points of articulation. Although it's pretty posed, so it's like McFarlane articulation where <laughs> you move really it, it doesn't look. really go anywhere. It doesn't, doesn't really look sense. right, but okay. <laughs> Um, there's four colorways available. Original, neon, chrome, and candy flake, which is red. Now here's the part that I'm not real happy with. Dun, 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 dun. $150 each. Now, I don't know about you, but a little seven, seven and a half inch tall thing <laughs> for $150. It is a Mickey. to Disneyland for $150. Bucks. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I don't know about that. Um, they do all come with a shirt and a pack of trading cards. Yay, shirt. Okay, so the shirt's uh, $10. The trading cards are <laughs> five. 5 bucks. Where's the rest of that price come from? Those Not so sure about the price. I'm guessing it starts with a D and ends with an Isney. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that Just part guessing. of it. But you can check those out at many fine retailers, including spanofsunset.com. Now, here's something that's a little bit better for the price. Um, Chaz and Daz. It figures based off of uh, Motomichi Nakamura's designs um it's made by android 8 there are four there's two figures in it Chaz and daz one's four and a half inches tall one's six inches tall and it's limited to a thousand of them um this little set i mean if you if if you go to motomichi's site you can see a lot of uh a lot of his designs and these are real signature design for him and uh sixty dollars is a good price for two i think I think it's a good price. You can also you could purchase those off no. Android 8. Two, count them two. Yeah, two. And there's only a thousand pieces of those. I think that's pretty good. Did you say that already? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's up? This? I know. I care. I do. Um, for those of you following the Shiitakes by Eric Scarecrow, um, they will be arriving soon. And here's a little sneak peek from his blog, which you can also check out at ericscarecrow.blogspot.com little uh, plush mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms. Did plush rooms? Plush rooms. Awesome. Can't wait. Want to see them. Um, also posted recently on vinylabuse.com, there is a, if, if you have some time, five minutes to waste on YouTube, there's a fun little piece called Japanorama Urban YouTube. Vinyl. YouTube. Chances are if you're watching this, you've got five minutes to waste. That's true. <laughs> so pause this for a second, but come back. <laughs> And go check this out. Um, again, it's called Japanorama Urban Vinyl. It's a five-minute video from the BBC short documentary series on Japan, hosted by Jonathan Ross. Um, it features bounty hunters, secret base, bear brick, and some other Japanese toy people and companies. And it's just a cute little five-minute review. So, I'd like to see the vinyl out there. There it is. Neat. Um, 
Speaking of vinyl abuse, uh, vinylabuse.com is looking for contributors. You can contribute, Matt. You like to contribute, right? I like to abuse vinyl. <laughs> this one time That's I a different this, site. Totally uh, different site. What? Different site. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get it. Um, vinyl abuse is looking for contributors to help create city guides based around the vinyl scene. Uh, they're looking for people in London, Paris, Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York, Chicago, Tokyo, and Hong Kong. We have viewers in, from all those areas, I'm sure. I'm not in yes. any of those cities, though. Los Angeles. Um, Los Angeles. I live in Ventura County. You're in, you're in Los Angeles. You I live in Los Angeles. <laughs> um, I tend to hover over Los Angeles by two inches. <laughs> uh, basically, they want people to cover store reviews, uh, galleries, and museums and other cultural interests, and uh, you can check out vinylabuse.com for more details and write to them and they'll send you more information. Cool. A um, little bit of, last bit of news here. Um, Jessica Jocelyn, um, an artist who does some really cool um, animal type creatures, a lot of brass, a lot of skulls, uh, both real and fake probably, a um, lot of found art looking uh, pieces. Check her out at jessicajocelyn.com, but uh, she has an art book in the works, and uh, we'll be letting you know when that's out and available, but for right now, it's just announced that it will be out soon, uh, published in conjunction with the Lisa Set Gallery, so it'll be released later this year. jessicajocelyn.com. It's worth checking out. It's a good site. Go to toybreak.com for the link. Or not. Do whatever you want. Or do. Yeah, okay. My favorite part! Blind box? Yes. All right, now. You guys don't know how long I've been waiting to open these. We have two blind box openings <laughs> this year. This, this episode. This year. This, this year. year. This is the only toy break this, this year. This is it. We've the got. Year. I'm done. We've got the Ron English MC supersized, mixed supersized sculpture. Yes. That we bought all the way back at Toy Fair. <laughs> toy Fair? Comic Con, New York, Comic-Con. New York Comic Con. So we've been sitting on this for a while, and I just really want to get these things opened. You could have opened them and then closed them. No, it wouldn't be the surprise of seeing we it. We did that once. We did that with pretended. the Mufia, and we weren't as excited. Oh. And now yeah, this one, which yeah. I know Aileen really wants. Give it to me. <laughs> Mini Goon. So I think we'll open the Ron English first. Damn you! So here we go. Ron and English. Net, I would put it on your head. Ron English first. I get to open one. We all open one of these little guys. Let's open one of these. Let's Not see. that I'm against Ron English, but when there's a dragon to be opened. Dragons are for hippies. I'm a hippie then. Dragons are for stoners. I'm a stoner then. Dragons are for tat or for tattooed men with Vikings and wizard sleeves. Oh sweet, I got a green one. Ooh, it almost looks like it's blown Ooh. apart. I can't open mine. I got a good one. It's already open. What? Oh, mine was already open. Oh. What, did somebody open yours already? Cheated. No, look. Awesome. It wasn't seen. I got a pink I one! Even... Sweet! I got gray. Oh, awesome. Gray. We all got the good colors again. Oh. Pink is awesome. Oh. Ooh, these are good smells. It smells like a bathroom. It That's not like a good smell. Rubber it duck like a, almost. A bath toy, yeah. Yours smells gross. <laughs> What's yours smell like? <laughs> it smells gray. <laughs> Oh, it's awful. Why is yours different? Mine smells like rubber duck. Oh. Why it's good? You smell that. I Why does that suck? My bag was open. Wow, it really smells like poo. Apparently they store these in lavatories. Well, wait a minute. Let me see the gray one again. Why is it... My steam. It smells like a porta <laughs> It smells kind of like a porta potty. Don't expose oh. stink face to I the nation. I don't like touch it anymore. Where? And yeah, they smell a little bit cool. funky. But they're, they're really I think it's just mine. <laughs> But I got the green one. How, yeah, these kind of look that? like a guy I know. And I love gray. <laughs> what do they look like? <laughs> I won't say online, but his initials are online. PS. Nice. But, uh, yeah, they're really cute, though. I like these guys. Look, you can make their little feet go crazy. Does it glow? I think mine glows, but I can't really tell. Oh, that does look like glow. Here. Mine's starting you to stink. I don't want the one. poopy one. They all... Smell this guy, like on the back I think side. This guy does glow. They all just <laughs> Yours is worse than that. Yeah, they smell kind of. Smell mine. Mine's mine is fine. fine. Mine smells like vinyl. <laughs> yeah, yours is good. Buy oh, the green one. Try to get the get green. Get the one. green. It doesn't stink. <laughs> the toys awful. are cool. They're cool pieces. Yeah, they're really cute. Look. <laughs> they just smell funny. You can probably see an insert. Uh, I we'll like that guy. Those for you. All right, now... Goon, goon. Eden. Who's got the goon? goon Mini goon? goon? Give me goon. Mini Better goon. Pink one. I want the Mini black goon. one 
with the purple. Holding the crystal with the lightning bolt and the wizard. These on, are by Tuma on the mountain. and Wonderwall. And you can get them at many places, including uh, Frozen got... Empire Toys. Mine's kind of Celadon and gold. Well, I didn't get the black one, but Mine's I like it. Mine's completely white. Ooh. I Mine's got a blank uh, one. I got blue. Ooh, I can spray paint it? this pink for you. Is the leg supposed to come off? <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't know. You break it with your... Re oh. <laughs> <laughs> the same leg came off of yours. Hey, mine, My retard strings. <laughs> my, mine's white and it stays all together, so get the white one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these ones don't smell funny. Oh, mine they're so cute. Smell I like smell. mine. Mine smells kind of like the dogs. Oh. Mine's good. Does this smell like the wharf? Yeah, why is yours <laughs> awful? Maybe it's your hands. That. What's on your hands? <laughs> I don't know. Still not. Vodka? I think he's, <laughs> he's drinking water. Okay. Yeah, mine so smells far? like the docks. <laughs> mine smells like mine all time. Mini goons are awesome, except These the left PVC. leg tends to come oh. off. Mine smells like PVC. Hey, they have different faces. Do they? But look how cool it is yeah. because they have the same points of articulation. The little head that I you got can twist. a different head on mine. Oh. Yeah, you did. Yours has like a squared head. Mine's got more and round. Yours is all crazy oh, color. Jagged teeth. Oh, look. No, there's two different designs. But how come the white one's not on the package? Maybe it's special. Maybe you got a special one, George. Oh, I love their little claws. All right, you take this smelly crap. Oh. <laughs> You're so breaking it's, everything. It's very easy. These are for looking at very gently <laughs> with your eyes. To pull the pieces out of the little mini goons. It smells like somebody was smoking with it. it. Oh, that's not broken. That's just Japanese toy no, style. No, it's just, it's like a... Just a peg. Pressure fit. That's good. I like the white one, actually. All those kits that you put together. Check this out, the though. Out of the stuff, little the yeah. package that's in there. Appreciate Check out the monkey. Uh, monkey's cool. There's a monkey coming soon. That's Pink awesome. And gray monkey. And then there's this weird thing that's smoking. Why is everything smoking all the time? But if you can, you're going to want to see this monkey. <laughs> I smelled your wife's dragon. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, back to that. All right, what's up next? I think we're going to have some hate. I'm going to hate some stuff. All right. You hate everything, don't you? Prepare for some hate. Will it involve smells? <laughs> Tighten up your belt, curl up into a ball, and start crying, because here comes some fury. Or some mild disgust with the world. Probably that. And go! go. There's one thing I hate. Oh, bitch, bitch, bitch. All right, here's the deal. All you jerks who think you're going to cash in on your vast fortune someday from keeping your Lieutenant Commander Data Action Figure Mint in package. You're all stupid. You're fooling yourselves. Things aren't going to be worth anything in the future. All of you little pathetic virgins sitting at home watching Angel and Buffy you're missing out on a good opportunity to play with an awesome action figure covered in twist ties. It could be yours to have and to love and to play with and they can interact with your other toys. To look at, to move around, and put it in the bathtub if you want. You don't have to keep it in the packaging. 25 years from now or 60 years from now, there's going to be hordes and hordes of you stupid motherfuckers going to Antiques Roadshow with your godforsaken Gungan warrior or your Sith so-and-sos, mint in package kept in your mother's basement for tens and tens of years. You're all going to realize you all fell for the same foolish trap. Meanwhile, I'm going to be sitting here with my Lieutenant Commander Data in the bathtub with my rubber duckies kissing him, hugging him and having underwater adventures, my pool, or skydiving with Commander Data. So, uh, you know, go for it. Rip it right out of the box. Stick it up. Put it, hold it in your hand. Put it on your shelf. Play with it. Pose it. Stupid guys like me spent hours and hours sculpting these tiny men out of wax with articulation and anatomy and realistic wrinkles in their clothing. We go to school for years and years to learn how to do this. So take it out and look at it. Enjoy it. Kiss it. Love it. Hug it. Pose them in gay sexual arousal fetish photography look scenes. Look at the back. Yeah, look at the back of this figure. There's stuff on the back, too. There's an inside, there's an outside, sometimes there's accessories that come with them. You can put them right in their hands. And another thing, the stupid guy who decided 
dead man's chest sounded like a delicious breakfast should burn in hell for eternity. A pox on your soul, dead man's chest. Honey, can you pour me another bowl of dead man's chest? I can't get enough of that dead man's chest. Put some dead man's chest in my mouth. Anyway, a pox on your soul. Reviews! And Matt was hateful. Yeah. Uh, I remember the part with the... Uh, remember where you were hating stuff? Yeah. Okay. And the not liking stuff? Uh, cereal. <laughs> cereal. We need some bowls to eat that cereal. Reviews. Reviews. Um, start with the Maltese chimp? Let's do it. All right. Sure, why not? This is the box for the Maltese Ooh. chimp. As you can see on the side, or maybe you cannot, but there is on the side uh, one, two, three, four different colorways. Um, this was sculpted by Opifex, I guess. Um, produced by Electric Tiki Design, and it is based off of Ragnar's art. Um, I've mentioned Ragnar in somewhere on this thing before. Um, so this is Ragnar's piece. We decided to get the green one because I don't know if you know, but I like green stuff. So there he is right there. Awesome. Ragnar does a lot of art with a hot chick and, and a, monkey. a monkey. And you How can't can you, you can't beat hot <laughs> chicks and monkeys. I mean, wasn't he the one that was for a while he was doing a hot chick, hot chick and a monster? <laughs> He did hot chicks hot and chink, monsters. Hot, chink. hot chicks and monsters. Hot chick and monsters. Yes. And uh, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. So Are you this offended by racial slurs. This piece is awesome. <laughs> Yet again, a cigarette involved, but check this out. Very That's pretty cool. cool. Monkey, little cigarette stand to go next to her. A monkey and a girl. Hot it's always cleavage. a similar looking a girl, girl and her monkey. So this thing's awesome. Um, I don't remember what we paid for it. I think it was like 89 bucks or something like that. Those go for $90. And like you said, they come in four colorways. Green, blue, brown, and gray. Brown! 250 pieces each. We got ours at the House of Secret in Burbank. Although that blue one, or that green one that you have... Ask for pieces. Paul. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, but you can also get them at Electric Tiki's distributor, SideshowToy.com. There you go. Electric Tiki puts out some cool stuff. Yes, they, yes do. they do. Always animated style. And it's cool that Sideshow was able to help uh, produce, help them produce things. Absolutely. Yeah. At least have a place for them to I'll sell distribute it. Distribute them. Distribute go it. Go Sideshow. Yeah. Sideshow's doing some good stuff <laughs> these days. Um, so what do we got next? Ah, this guy. You want to review? Okay, we'll do that. This nah. one? Matt can jump in next. Okay. Next we have the Ace and Ion. Ion? Ion. Sure. Fox Fur Space Adventure Set. The coolest thing about this is the package. It comes in its own little rocket ship. Each In the oh, front, if you don't want to open inches. yours, the front has two windows and a little dragon in the back. But we all know that you want to open your toy. Hey, who did that? I don't know. Terry McPherson and Kid Robot. Terry McPherson and Kid Robot. <laughs> well, of course they did. Don't be ridiculous. So the little rocket ship blasts off the top, <laughs> and then you didn't make any sound effects. effects. Like a test tube, you can oh, yank them out of there. Awesome ray gun accessories. Now that's mm -hmm. one of the best parts of this thing. That's awesome. Each little guy. Hey, can I have that? Hold that. Here's a cool green one. They've got flocked. They smell bodies. good. They look like they're wearing pajamas. <laughs> even the little like erasers. Even the little dragon flocked. So oh, they're so cute. Awesome. Cute. But one of the best things about this, besides the fact that all the characters oh, are cute, they do have pressure fit joints though. Oh, he looks apart. like he has a little flap on his bum. Nice. Oh. Yeah, they do have bum flaps. So they can poop in outer space. Stop that. Enough poop talk. Poop. Stop poop. One of the coolest things about this is poop the is ray gun funny. accessories. Can you can't beat these little I'm things. Scared of yours. Here, check that Ray out. Guns are badass. This is, these are awesome. Those guns are better than the. This looks like the one you sculpted. Yeah. Except small. Yeah. But like, can they hold them? Yes. They can hold them really well. These toys are awesome. And he comes with a little pick, a little space pickaxe too. That's so cool. A space pickaxe. <laughs> for and check it out, puffy stickers like when you were a kid. Pickaxing in a vacuum. 
And they come with little puffy stickers. Awesome. Oh, oh check it out. And a book. Cool. It is held on really good. Comes with a little coloring book. A little coloring book. Hot dog. How much were these? Thirty-nine ninety-five for two figures. Both three four. figures. You get the little dinosaur well, three. too. You get the, the dragon eating dinosaur guy. And uh, forty bucks is worth it just for these little ray guns. They're flocked and so sweet. You can get these. He's got an articulated tail. Oh, you trade me. Um, you can get awesome. these at kidrobot.com and many other fine retailers such as 3dretro.com. Where'd we oh, get ours? 3dretro.com. 3dretro.com. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. Look at his little hands. You can't make me. They come apart really easy, too. <laughs> yeah. They're just pressure fit. Oh, he's drinks. my favorite. Yeah, these Adorable. are awesome. Great figure. Flocking. All right. Good designs, well Time executed. For Space. pirates. Pirates! Uh, I found this dandy little ditty at Walmart by the maker of Doodle Bears. It's a doodle pirate. There's uh, three different styles of pirate. I got the shirtless one because I want to draw tattoos on it. I actually bought this for my daughter, but I stole it <laughs> so you could look at it on the show. I'll give it to her later. It's like taking toys from babies. It's exactly like that in every way. <laughs> anyway, it's really awesome. You can draw tattoos on them, scars. It's like a customizable toy. <laughs> Except when you're done customizing, you throw it in the washing machine and start like... over. And it's got this awesome picture of this really ugly little kid with no teeth. He's like missing his four front teeth. It's ridiculous. Come on. It makes him a pirate. Yeah, I think right. it was like, uh, it was $14. Come an on. excellent deal. Fourteen dollars. It comes with three markers, blue, purple, and red. The other ones come with different colors, and you can put them in his holster. He's got like a little marker holster on the side there. Awesome. What, what happens if your daughter starts drawing on your couch? Well, then we throw the couch in the washer, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, pray for forgiveness from our Lord Aww. and Savior. Yeah, you can take off his shirt and draw tattoos on his chest or nice. nipples or. He comes with this awesome banana sword. <laughs> anyway, it's cool. It's put out by uh, Play Along and Jack Specific, apparently. I think they're in partnership nowadays. But it's uh, super cool and really cheap. Good for kids. Who did you say you got that name? Walmart. Woohoo! Yes, Walmart. I shop at Walmart, and I don't care. Is that where you got that nifty tank top? No, shut up. <laughs> shop at Walmart. I don't care if you don't think it's punk rock. Punk rock's for jerks. All right, next. <laughs> I also got it at Walmart. It's awesome Star Wars Kit Fisto action figure from the Saga Collection. It doesn't have as much articulation as the rest of the Star Wars figures. Take a look. Uh -huh. Ooh. Kit Fisto with no shirt, even though I'm pretty sure the robes are one piece in the movie with a belt over it. Somehow he took off. He cut off the top half of his outfit. You can't keep clothes on with Kit a Fisto. lightsaber. <laughs> You know, he's like pretty much the stupidest character in all of the movies. Really lame. They um, somehow made him good. He's cool he put, in the animation. Yeah. Well, they managed to uh, give him some a muscular physique. Well, he puts a shirt on and it just tears itself off. <laughs> somehow when he puts his shirt on, he's smaller than he is when his, when his shirt is off. <laughs> <laughs> but like the Darth Maul they did, he's got uh, Let me look at some that guy. cool anatomy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. He's got this cool fantasy-based anatomy. I don't know who sculpted it, but they did a good job doing the anatomy. His head's awesome, too. His head is really good likeness. Because with lightsaber, just disc articulation of the arms and waist. But I think he has a T-crotch and ankle joints. Ooh, T-crotch. So you can make him kind of look like he's walking. And he's got a real kind of stoic stance and expression. It's a good figure. And it comes with a little tiny red... Uh, Yoda fishing lure, I guess <laughs> is what it's called. Fishing lure. Oh, hologram figure, that's what I meant to say. Of uh, Yoda. Because remember that time in the movie when he was red? Yeah, he turned into a red, <laughs> clear uh, hologram for chess reason? piece, I guess. <laughs> anyway, Star Wars. Saga oh. collection. Check it out. How much do you think you paid for that, Matt? It was uh, six bucks, a little over six bucks. A good Ooh. deal. Next up, I got this awesome Star Wars. Darth Vader's Sith Starfighter, twenty bucks at Walmart, or you could pay an extra ten bucks and get it off uh, Entertainment Earth. What? 
Yeah. Entertainment Earth has it for twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping, or drive to Walmart and be a jerk and buy it in Walmart for <laughs> twenty bucks. Save yourself about fifteen dollars. It's a uh, kind of a mix of a Tie Fighter and a an X Wing. I don't know if it appeared in the movie. Did it appear in the movie? Do you think? I have absolutely Who knows? no idea. I don't remember it from the movie, but it's a really cool design. It's uh, I guess they put it out for the thirtieth anniversary, and it's got uh. The anniversary date all over the box for some reason. <laughs> well, it, it is the 30th crap. anniversary. Yeah, but who cares? Um, all of us going to Celebration 4? Meh. I just like the toys. Cool toy. It transforms. The wings flip open. It's got a cool little cockpit. It comes with these really lame stickers of battle damage that just look like giant stickers and not actual battle damage, but it's got firing missiles. I guess it is in the movie. <laughs> it's only 20 bucks. So, what the hell? Go to Walmart and buy yourself a cool toy to hang above your bed that you're not getting laid in. <laughs> Anything else? Speaking of Entertainment Earth, when you're done shopping at Walmart, you can go to Entertainment Earth. Um, uh-huh. And we got this little guy there. This is uh, Fizz Gig from the Dark Crystal, made by Toy Vault. And, uh, Same people that brought you Sir Didymus. Not in scale. Man. If you shake them around, <laughs> not in scale movie. to each other, no. Different movie. Um... What's but you might remember name? him from Dark Crystal. He was the uh, little guy that hung out with uh, Jen and Kira when they were on their little trip. And uh, he can get really big and <laughs> scream at you when you're playing with him, I guess. Or whatever you do with them. What do you do with plush? Do you play with plush? Or you I just sit them? sleep with it. I pet them. Okay. Well, you can pet this little guy who can yell at you with his big giant mouth. Ah! Or when you're mad at your spouse and you can't... Articulate it and you don't, you don't know how to yell and just go, yeah! and then they laugh because how can you be mad at that? <laughs> so good, Fizz Gig. How can you not get mad at that? He's only 20 bucks, you can get him on Entertainment Earth. If you shove a fuzzy ah. turd in my face, I'll probably get slightly What about angry. a regular turd? Uh, that will also make me quite perturbed. The best thing about Entertainment Earth is that we live near it, yeah. so we can save on shipping and just right go pick it up. Right up the street from October Toys Studio. There you go. Studio. Ow. Sorry, I didn't mean to touch you. <laughs> is, that it, is that it for reviews? <laughs> I think that's about what we have right now. Fizz gig. What else? How about our uh, <laughs> How about our featured feature for the episode? Our featured feature. Featured feature. We're Features. finally getting back to it, everyone. How to make a toy. Continued the saga. Part Yay. something. Welcome to the sculpting segment. Part two. Two. Two? Two. All right, here we go. We're going to start a sculpture. How do you like to start a sculpture, George? <laughs> what, I, what I first like to do, this is me down here, is uh, get reference. I like to refer directly helps to, to uh, reference. Helps to get reference of what you're sculpting. As many pictures as possible, preferably turns, um, but you know sometimes you're not able to get that. Sometimes you're able to just use a concept sketch. So what we'll show you here, and we'll get a closer up, Closer up, close up shot of this is uh, this is some concept sketches from a um, what we'll call a mini bust, which is more like a half statue here, but uh, a mini bust of a character. Who is this that we're doing here? It's uh, Edric Storm from the Fire and Ice series. Mini bust series going to be coming out in a year or so. So something that's uh, up and coming. You're seeing it here first. These are some. Uh, these are first ever seen anywhere. Sure. Uh, con- so. Concept sketches. Um, Thank you to Justice for that. And Jed. Usually you'll get something like photos or. Like we showed in the first caps. one, some of those reference books. Yeah, or you'll get screen caps. Yeah, if you're doing a, a movie property or anything like that, you'll get. Sometimes you get a DVD if, the, if it's already out, or sometimes you'll just get a. A photo of someone's TV. Yeah. If you're, <laughs> if you're, you're doing, really lucky. If you're doing a sports thing on. There you go. All right, so what do you do next? Start blocking up a form. This is the pose that we're going to be sculpting. Probably have it done in a half an hour. Usually you make something like that. So what you want to do, uh, start out with some, some uh, get a wax pot, first of all, and melt your wax if you're using wax. We're going to be talking wax today because that's what we're sculpting this in. So you'll see the wax pot here. You can find those on Jewelry Supply. Companies' websites. This one came from uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, actually. 
No. It's just a regular old. Um, is it for waxing your it's legs? For, what is this? A rice cooker? Some kind of a. Some sort of heating pot. Heating pot. But what some you could do use is crock pots. So what you could do is you get some little Dixie cups, fill them up with wax. And one of the things you want to do is maybe start by filling up a couple cups and letting it harden out. Why don't you open that up and show us? And uh, you'll also want to do is pour some on a sheet of. We're using. We're today. We're going to use a cutting board, which is just uh, something you use for protecting your Exacto from getting dull. Just for model making, usually. We'll just pour some out on this because it's vinyl, and it, once this cools, we can bend it and uh, just crack that off. But this this is good for making capes or even just making general shapes. Cut it into sticks and build arms or legs or wrinkles of fabric. Usually I'll, uh, I'll pour a big sheet like that and then as it's cooling I'll peel it off and ball it up into a ball. You can make shapes like torsos or legs, big shapes like heads. You could roll it into a ball just like you're rolling a snowball. If you let the wax cool in the cup you can get a cup shape that you could uh, dip your hot waxing tool into, gather wax, and make things like belts, or rings, or noses, or eyes, or ears, or nipples, anything. You use it to apply wax. So you can see as this starts to cool off, kind of... As it's hardening, you could cut strips and then peel those off when they're still warm and bend them into shapes. You could also build a box out of it, cut squares, build a box and weld that together with your waxer, and then fill the box with wax and create cubes. And, uh, you could use it to create a torso or an animal. Although I'm looking at the camera, nobody can see me. I'm looking at you when I'm <laughs> um, nice tool to use while you're welding these large wax pieces together would be a um, a uh, alcohol torch. So what you want to do is just get it uh, get it going. Find them at craft stores or hobby stores, and you can uh, just kind of use it. It's, it becomes like a small torch for yourself. It's a little finger of flame, and you can just use that to melt down pieces, you can then attach other pieces to that, you know, by pushing them together, Fuses. kind of fusing them together as mine goes out. So you can kind of fuse the wax to itself that way. That's a nice quick and easy way to go, and then with the waxer you'll go back in and... Or you could use it, if you're trying to bend somebody's arm, you could use it to heat up the joint. Just go around very carefully, all over area. Apply flame liberally to the surface. Sometimes you can get it real nice and soft. It takes a little while to get heated all the way through. Or you can just torch a big section out of it in inside of the elbow. You make a huge mess, but that's how you make doing it right. You just kind of bend it. Sometimes it'll refuse, sometimes you gotta tack it with your waxer. Like that. Turned up real hot, drip wax in there. The majority of your sculpting, you're going to be using heat elements like a waxer or a torch or liquid wax. It takes a very long time before you get into tools for uh, smoothing it out. You really have to get used to working with liquid. And one of the things to remember is when you get to this, you're going to have this shape, like this is a really rough torso shape and a really rough arm shape, and you're going to want to start putting details on it right away. But that's like one of the biggest downfalls of one of the biggest mistakes people people usually get into this trap where they're, they're really excited to get to the fun part, like D 
detailing it, making little jewels or wrinkles in the fabric, but the very, very most important step is building a proper form. If your piece doesn't look exactly like the reference, if the chest isn't exactly as wide and the, the bend of the back, the arch of the back, or the shape of the hands, or even the curve of the neck isn't exactly right, once you put form on it, it's just going to look stupid, it's not going to look right, and then the client's going to say, hey, the chest should be sh thicker, and then you're just going to have to scrape all that stuff off that you put on there, all the nice little buttons and all those elements are just going to end up on your floor. So just make sure as you're building, you keep checking back, refer to the reference, that's what yeah. it's for, um, and just before you start detailing, before you do that, the form is really the most important part to get down. You can spend um, a lot of time can hold it up to the thing. You could Xerox this to the exact size that you want it. Say you want this sculpture to be eight inches or six inches. You just uh, blow it up, and then you could just kind of trace it. Even just hold it right over the photo, the reference, and get closer. You can measure it. Just hold a ruler up to it. Just trace it, kind of. So here you can see taking off the stuff in large chunks, and you can work with the wax. A lot of people think, how do you work with wax, because it's so hard, but you can actually look, bend that right into a whole circular shape, and it works just fine. So, you know, a lot of times you're going to have to work with it when it's hot, and that's, you know. Yeah, you have to get used to working with really hot wax. You have to get really used to burning wax. your hands. <laughs> you, you, you do burn your hands a lot in the beginning, but your hands get used to it, I guess. You could dip your hand in the wax pot a couple times and feel how hot it is. But you can get off sticks, and you can put these sticks together, and you know you can get them thicker if you need to. But you can pretty much make any shape you need to. People tend to think wax. that uh, wax takes a really, really long time to build up, but there are ways of building up really, really quickly. Is your spoon? You can get your wax really stirred up. You know, you could pour it on a slab like this, and then wait till it's soft, and then just ball it into a ball, like really hard compact it, or you could take that ball that you made and dip it in the pot and layer it, and let that layer dry until it's cool, and then you could dip it in again, and you can just keep doing that, and you can make it as huge as you want, and depending on your, the size of your wax pot, you, know, you can make it the size of a grapefruit or a watermelon, and then carve it down, depending on what you want. Anything else you want to go over, cover? Not what else do we need to talk about for this? It's pretty much building form. And the next step, we're going to talk about uh, doing wrinkles in fabric, drapery, anatomy, maybe a little bit of portraiture, and then detailing, smoothing it out, and detailing, going over rakes and stuff like that. Yeah. So stay tuned. More excitement in the future. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> All right, making toys. It'll so, ruin your life. <laughs> obviously, we didn't tell you how to sculpt. We just gave you some tips. Hey, how to sculpt is up to you. If you want to, if you're good at it or not, if you can make it look right or not, yeah, that's up to you. You have to, to be you. able to visualize a form properly. Obviously, practice. Learn your own anatomy. We showed you where to get anatomy reference. Buy muscle magazines and start mashing wax together into the shape of a man's chest. Do so, it first. Find a man to find a man's chest. Yes. Next time we'll show you something... Uh, a dead man's chest? If you are a man, look at your own chest. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we'll probably be showing you how to start a cartoony looking thing. Same, very similar features to the uh, to how to start a human form. <clears throat> um, and then we'll also be continuing on the mini bust and checking out the details and how they're progressing and checking out what happens after you finish the form. I think that's a pretty good start though. I mean, there's a lot of techniques you have to get down and you know, if you don't know how to work with wax, that's great. Start practicing. It's very temperamental. Yes. All right, what next? Events. Yay. Don't be too excited, Matt. Yay. <laughs> um, first up, uh, we have Plastic Pimps. Yay. <laughs> On April 13th. Friday the 13th? Uh, I don't think that's a Friday. Oh. Is it April a 13th is a Friday, I believe. I lied. It's Friday, Friday the 13th. April, Yay. Friday, April the 13th. <laughs> Friday, April the 13th. <laughs> 7 to 11 p.m. Plastic through, Pimps. Through uh, May 13th at Central Station Records in Melbourne, Australia. I'm there. Woohoo! 
Uh, you're not a short you're not plane ride. ride now. No. A short plane ride. He won't here. be there. Um, Fifty customized Trexy figures, and you can check out more information at playimaginative.com. Uh, next up is Bittersweets Ryan Myers Solo Art Show, April fourteenth, eight to eleven p.m. at Pink Ghost in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. There is free coffee free and coffee. cupcakes. Free cupcakes. Or is it just free coffee and you just pay for the cupcakes? Well, it implies <laughs> free cupcakes. Would that be punch and pie? Why people will come to punch and pie? Um, <laughs> more information at pinkghost.net. Uh, external Combustion 2 coming up at Alpha Cult. Uh, Alpha Cult has teamed up with Jada Toys to bring you this event featuring 35 customized 124th scale Scion XB diecast cars. That is April 14th from 7 to 11 p.m. through May 9th at Alpha Cult in Long Beach, California. And uh, they will also, on opening night, have the graffiti artist slash painter Sesso. I hope I'm saying that right. Sesso? Sesso? Yeah, um, sure. We'll be painting live during Doesn't the opening. Sesso mean brains? Yes. I think it you does. That up. No, it does. Maybe it's right. brains. All right then. Woohoo! Awesome. Uh, AlphaCult.com for more information on all that. Another I Am 8-Bit show at Gallery 1988 in Hollywood. Awesome. April 17th through May 12th. Uh, opening reception is 7 to 11 p.m. There's over 100 artists redreaming their favorite video games of the 80s. Uh, some artists include Luke Chu, Crayola, Bob Dobb, Joe Ledbetter, and many more. Uh, we've been to, I think, two of these. Yeah. The real so Bob Dobb can be there. It's not the Bob Dobb that you're thinking. Not. That's a different Bob Dobb. Dang. Universal Church of Subgenius. Sub there you go. That's the one. Attack of the Zlicks. <sighs> Those things are pretty cool. April 20th, 6 to 9 p.m. through May 20th at My Plastic Heart in New York. Uh, that will be featuring custom 19 inch Zlicks. More information at myplasticheart.com. Uh, High and Dry. New works by Sket One. Go Sket! Woo! Uh, May 4th, 6 to 11 p.m. And, and May 18th, 6 to 10 p.m., not through, and. Uh, that's at Pravis at the Anti-Space in Phoenix, Arizona. And you can check out Sket's pages for more information. That's myspace.com slash sket underscore one or sket dash one dot com. These shows are going on everywhere. This is awesome. We got a lot of shows. And coming up soon, one of the uh, big ones for vinyl toy fans, Vinyl Toy Network. This is the second one they've had. It's on May 6th, sponsored by 3D Retro. Uh, you can check out more information at VinylToyNetwork.com. We will be there in all of our glory with the Gwyns. They and get their cool giveaway bags. They yeah. will. Those things are awesome. Go for the giveaway bag and then leave. We'll no, no, no. Pay. Go for the bag and what? stay for the vinyl fun. Yes. Oh, yeah. Fun. I forgot. Will there be anything from October Toys? I hope or not. Or Toy Break in the bag? Jeez, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Is there going to be... Good stuff? Sweet. I can't promise good. Oh. Depends on what you like. <laughs> Free stuff? I can stuff? promise stuff. Free stuff? Well, that's a bargain. So, you got anything else to add, Matt? Uh, everything sucks, but at least life is short. And I don't like you touching me. <laughs> anything to add, George? Oh, these toys are starting to... It's really hot in here. And you it guys smells like are new vinyl. Gaseous. Nobody is gaseous. It smells like brand new vinyl. I think the vinyl is gaseous. So yeah, um, toybreak.com. Check out our show notes, past episodes, go to the forum, uh, sign up for the free horseman toy, uh, email us at info at toybreak.com, send us your ideas, questions, upcoming events, toy releases, uh, what you hate about Matt, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> what don't you hate about Matt? That guy's a son of a... That's true. <laughs> All right. Are we done? We're, We're done. And done.